Perfect. Thanks, Shannon. Um, so my name is Stacy. I work in our international office here at Central Washington University. I've been with Central for about six years. Um, I can't believe it's been that long, but yes, yeah, specifically with our international students, whether they're freshmen or transfer. And I can pass it along to Trisha. Oh, <laughs> I'm Trisha. I'm, I work out of the Linwood Center um, on the Edmonds Community College campus. They're locked down, so we're technically locked down too. And then Kimberly? Yes, hi everyone. I'm Kimberly Valenti. I work at the Central Washington University Des Moines campus. Um, and I work with international students in recruitment and admissions. So I will be kind of walking you through the admissions process. Okay, and finally, I will pass it over to you, Justin. All right, well, Justin Tyone, I work in the Des Moines Center. I work at both Highline College and Central Washington University. I work extensively with international students for a very long time, 10 years now I've been working in that side of things. And I work a lot with placements to ensure that you're able to get jobs here in the United States. Um, and so through that side of things, um, I am in the hospitality business and overseeing that side of things in our curriculum, which we've based here on this side of the mountains. For obvious reasons, there's a whole lot more jobs available through SeaTac Airport, cruise lines, hotels than there would be over in Ellensburg. Um, was I supposed to do more than an introduction or? <laughs> totally up to you. Do we have any students on um, now that might be brave enough to either unmute themselves or type in the chat if you're interested in the business, hospitality, tourism programs? No brave souls. I would also say you can ask any questions about the faculty side of things. Sometimes it's, especially when we're coming from another country, I, I have spent a lot of time abroad and I went to school abroad, I earned my degree abroad. And education is very different in the United States than it is in a lot of different countries. One of the things we do here is we learn together and there's going to be a lot of discussion. When I've been in other countries, it's often the instructor teaching at a student. We want you to speak up here. So you don't have to just ask about hospitality business, ask about what it's like and, and how we interact here on this side of things. All right, thank you so much, Justin, for the introduction. Um, if students have questions, feel free to chat them. If you have questions about the business programs, Justin, I'm sure would be happy to answer while he's on. Um, so now I think Stacy and I are going to give a little bit of information for you about the international transfer admissions process and just a little bit about life at uh, Central Washington University, both at our main campus and at the centers that we have on the uh, west side. So I'll just share my screen and get started. All right, can you see my screen? Great. All right, so a little bit about Central Washington University. We were founded in 1891. We have about 12,000 uh, students, undergraduate students total, so we're a medium-sized university with about 66 different countries represented. So that's important because uh, we at Central, we try really hard to focus on uh, recruiting students from all over the world. So we don't have a huge majority of students from one uh, country. So you will have a chance to meet people really from all over the world um, and maybe some from your country as well. We have over 135 different majors to choose from. We have a strong focus on undergraduate research. So this is important because students in the classroom get a little bit more than just a lecture. You'll have actually an opportunity uh, to take part in projects that can actually um, apply towards your field of study. So you'll gain, oops, you'll gain experience um, that will help you, you know, with your resume building and in your future career. Our average class size is about 25 students. Again, you'll get to know your faculty members really well, whereas at some 
bigger universities, you're really just a number and you may never get a chance to have conversations with your uh, instructors. But at Central, we encourage students to speak up, ask questions, as Justin said, talk to the, uh, talk to the instructors. Uh, we were ranked best in Washington State for growth for the past five years. So we're growing because students are finding that Central is a friendly place where you will be welcomed, where you will find uh, a community. And so students continue to um, transfer to Central for those reasons. We have over 150 different student clubs, organizations, and athletic teams, which we'll talk a little bit more about. Um, so there's plenty of opportunities for you to get involved off campus. We have nationally and or regionally distinguished programs in music, geology, paramedicine, physics, and education. We're very transfer friendly. So I don't know if you all know that this week is National Transfer Week. And we are celebrating because we are extremely welcoming of transfer students. We have over 40% of our uh, student population is actually transfer students. And we have a dedicated transfer center that helps you transition from the community college to a four-year university, meaning they help you with figuring out your transfer credit report, making sure you're connected with your academic advisors, um, and the international team that helps you with all of your immigration transfer process. We offer conditional admission for our community college partners. If you're not sure if your community college is one of our partners, feel free to ask us in the chat. Uh, the DTA, if you're doing the DTA AA program, that meets all of our general education requirements, meaning you will come in most likely as a junior and not have any more general education classes to take with Central. We have a transfer guide available that can help you before you're even admitted. If you're looking to see how many credits you've already completed and how long your degree is going to take, our transfer credit guide is really helpful. We'd be happy to send you that information so you can take a look and kind of plan out how long your degree program is going to take. And we have multiple campus locations. So our main campus is in Ellensburg, uh, but we also have center locations, as I said. So we'll talk a little bit more about our different locations. Okay, thank you for that introduction, Kimberly. Uh, so our main campus for Central Washington University is located in Ellensburg which is about an hour and a half by car from the city of Seattle. So straight over the Cascade Mountains and what I like to think of as the sunny part of the state as we have over 200 days of sun. Um, it's a little windy at times and dry, um, but a really cute, safe, historic downtown. Um, very close to the main campus. So about a five minute walk from campus to downtown Ellensburg. But we also offer a free shuttle that operates daily. Um, so when some of the snow comes in in the winter time, um, or perhaps you're doing a larger grocery shopping trip, we have the transportation for you to easily get around campus as well as town. Some of you may know here in Washington State, the home of Starbucks, we're a little obsessed with our coffee. Uh, so just in Ellensburg, we have over 36 coffee shops. So a lot of great opportunities to have study places, meet with friends, get to know the local community um, and have those spots around town and on campus um, to get your caffeine fix or whether it's coffee, tea, smoothies or any of the like. Uh, Ellensburg is known for its farmer's markets for about six months out of the year. We are close to the Gorge Amphitheater for musical festivals. We have an annual rodeo that takes place. We have First Friday art walks, um, lots of different parades and other sort of film festivals that come through. So Ellensburg is a bit more affordable. So for those of you living in big cities, perhaps you're in Seattle now, um, it's a bit more affordable over here on this side of the mountains um, and easier to get to know people on campus, um, be involved as well as interact with community members. Thank you, Stacy. So I'll talk a little bit about the Seattle centers. As I said, I'm located on the west side of the mountains in uh, the Des Moines area. So we have, uh, we, have, we have center locations. So what that means is that they are branch campuses 
of uh, Central Washington University. So it's the same curriculum, the same instruction, and all of the same services, but available to you if you would rather be in the Seattle area. And these, uh, these locations are meant specifically for transfer students. Um, they're located on community college partner campuses, uh, Highline and Edmonds, if you know where they are. So we have locations in Des Moines, Linwood, Pierce County, and Sammamish. At the centers, we have a campus activities team. So you have uh, plenty of activities organized for students to get involved, just like the Ellensburg main campus. There's on-campus employment opportunities. You have a career center that is really good about working with students and helping you with your resume and find internships. Um, we have CPT and OPT opportunities on the west side and all of our programs as well. I like hearing your thirsty dog I there. I apologize, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I muted it for just a moment, hoping no one noticed my dog is very thirsty next to me. It's the current world that we live in, whether I it's know. my cat or your dog. <laughs> yep, I hope you all love animals. We all do. All right, so a little more about the Seattle Center. So as I said, we have over 135 degree programs total, but at the Seattle Center specifically, these are the programs that we offer. So we have a business administration one of the most popular uh, programs probably on the um, on the west side with special specialization areas and all of these different um, subjects. So general business, supply chain, finance, um, human resources, leadership and management, marketing management, and personal financial planning. I know some of you that I've talked to had expressed interest in accounting or finance. So again, stay on um, for Q&A afterwards, and we can get you connected with advisors from those programs. We also offer accounting, elementary education, STEM education, hospitality management, which Justin's here to talk to us a little bit more if needed, uh, interdisciplinary studies, IT administrative management, that's a program that is kind of a combination of business and IT, law and justice, supply chain, and liberal studies. So in addition to the programs offered at the centers, those same programs are offered here at our main campus in Ellensburg, along with many others. Too many for me to list. Um, our website would be the best resource uh, to check out all 135 different degree programs. Listed here are some of the top programs or more popular programs. Um, we do see a lot of students transferring for the College of Business, as well as programs like computer science, uh, communications. We offer public health, fashion design through our apparels, textiles, and merchandising. Um, art, whether you're interested in graphic design, film, photography, ceramics, woodworking. Um, and then all of the hard sciences. So for those that love science, love the environment, love research, love all that hands-on work, you could do physics, biology, geology, integrated energy management, environmental studies and sustainability. So a lot of great options. Um, and specifically for transfer students too, um, there's you could still do a double major. So if you have more than one area of interest or passion, uh, you could study more than one subject. And that's what we would call a double major. You would work closely with your advisors in both majors to make sure you're on track to help you graduate in a timely manner. Um, but absolutely available to you. Um, I love when students take part in it. Right now, we have a student from Argentina who is studying music. He plays the cello, but he's also majoring in Russian. So your majors actually don't even need to relate if you have very opposite interests. There we go. All right, so one of the most important things um, I think about getting an education and getting your bachelor's degree is the doors that it's going to open for employment. So as a, as a part of being a student, you can already get started with Central. We have so many opportunities to get you help building your resume uh, before you even graduate. So you have kind of a head start on trying to find a job. 
our employees, or, or sorry, our graduates are employed by a lot of top companies, including Starbucks, Microsoft, Boeing, Google, Verizon, Nike, Movenpick. So one of the great things about being close to Seattle is all of the different companies, big and small, technology, every different field. Um, there's just a lot of opportunity in and around the Seattle area. We have about 950 to 1,000 students who participate in internship programs per year. And we have CPT workshops helping students um, figure out how to apply for internships as part of their program. So we offer a lot of support with finding internships and um, industry connections as well so that you can get connected, get interviews, um, and get that work experience. We have about 75 students right now working on OPT, not just in the Seattle area, but all over the United States. We have on-campus employment opportunities at all of our campus locations. So that's a way to help you pay for uh, cost of living and expenses. Students have lots of volunteer opportunities as well. We encourage students to volunteer as a way to also get involved on campus, give back, do a little bit, little bit of good and gain leadership experience. Industry connections are really important. So again, getting to know your faculty members, they have a lot of connections and contacts. We also do a lot of different events on campus that allow recruiters from companies to come to you. They're looking for students who have your degree, uh, who are graduating in your degree areas. So we will um, definitely have opportunities for you to network if you just um, get involved and ask questions. And our career center, as uh, mentioned before, we have a really strong career center too that's there to take private appointments with you to help you with your resume. Um, to do mock interviews with you so that you're prepared when you're ready to find a job. And then research opportunities, as I talked about before, as another opportunity for you to get hands-on experience and add more to your resume if you don't have previous work experience, as a lot of college students don't. When I was in my first couple years of undergraduate and I was looking at internships, I didn't have much to put on my resume yet. So that's why activities, clubs, and all of the uh, networking opportunities, volunteer work is really important. And we help students um, build up those resume points. And this is just one um, student I wanted to highlight. So we do on our Instagram account, you can follow us if you want to see these stories, but some of our student success stories. This is a graduate, uh, he transferred from Bellevue College got his degree in accounting and now works for a, an accounting firm in New York City, which is great. Um, and so we've been in touch with a lot of our alumni just to follow up and see where they are um, so that we can really show that students are getting a great value for the degree and they're really finding jobs out in the real world. So follow us on Instagram. Thanks, Kimberly. Before I delve into scholarships, I did see a question in the chat um, in regards to CPT and OPT. So I know we're throwing out some acronyms that might be confusing. Um, so CPT is curriculum practical training, and it relates to an internship or a co-op or work experience directly related to your major while you're studying at Central. So this is a specific opportunity for international students as part of your F1 visa that you may have not been able to participate at the community college level, but you absolutely can participate at the bachelor degree level. So the career services that we offer, um, they help place students in those internships. You'd also work directly with your faculty and your department, as well as myself and Kimberly and our colleagues within the international office. Some majors at Central actually require this internship work experience before you graduate. So programs like our ITAM, graphic design, you'll actually complete this component before you finish um, to gain that hands-on work experience. The other one, even in that Instagram post, the OPT is optional practical training. So this is a work opportunity once you graduate from Central that's also included on your F-1 visa that you can apply for and which if approved, you're allowed to stay in the United States for 12 months after graduation, work anywhere in the US as it relates to your major um, and to gain that additional experience. 
Those in the STEM field can apply for a two-year additional STEM extension on top of that 12 months. So CPT is while you're studying, there's no cost for the application and as part of the degree program, OPT is what you apply for after you finish um, here at Central. So keep those great questions coming. Um, now on to scholarships. So specifically for international students, I know a large component about the, the process in determining where you're gonna spend the next two, two and a half years of study relates down to finances. So here at Central, we try to help with the affordability and offset the cost by offering an international student scholarship um, specifically for you guys, all of our international students. This scholarship is merit-based, so that means it's based on your incoming overall GPA. It's automatically awarded at the time of acceptance to Central, and it's renewed every single year based on your continuing um, high GPA while studying here at Central. Currently, this scholarship is up to 50% reduction in tuition and fees. So like I said, a great scholarship for those that have performed academically well um, at their community college. We also offer about 300 different scholarships um, through our Scholarship Central website. So you can actually go on after this um, webinar and check it out, all the different opportunities to apply for additional scholarships. Because here at Central, the, the International Student Scholarship is what we call stackable. So that means you can combine the International Student Scholarship with let's say a, business, a College of Business Scholarship, or perhaps it's the Computer Science DocuSign Scholarship or specifically the Usha Mahajani scholarship. So a lot of different scholarship opportunities, they will vary based on your major, on your skills, perhaps on your country of origin. Some have preference for students from South America or from Africa. Some scholarships may have a need requirement, so they're, they're based on financial need. All of those requirements, again, can be found on the Scholarship Central website. Um, applications for fall 2021, they do open November 1st and end on February 1st. So you have to be proactive in your research and getting admitted to Central and then applying for those additional scholarships. Sorry, I'm having trouble changing the slide. That's okay. Also, I did have somebody interested in music. Music, theater, and the arts program offer what we call talent-based scholarships. So if that's your field of interest, you may be eligible for additional scholarship opportunities based on your talent. Uh, so now moving into activities. So a lot of um, students at Central are very engaged within the classroom, whether it's group projects, research, um, other opportunities with their faculty members, but they're also very active outside the classroom. So we have over 30 different musical ensembles. I mentioned the opportunities, especially with the jazz ensembles. Uh, we have a choir pre-COVID that used to travel, whether it was to California, they traveled to Spain to sing there and perform. They perform at different um, sporting events in the Seattle area. So a lot of great musical opportunities, whether you want to play and perform or if you just like listening. So we have about 2000 musical performances. So that's open to the public and to students to join and to listen. We also have a lot of different student clubs and organizations as well as intramural sports teams. So I mentioned some of the business opportunities for clubs. So you could join any number of those. I think they had about 10 different clubs specific for those within the College of Business. Um, but we also have an astronomy club. We have an equestrian club. We have student government. So if you wanna work on your leadership skills, we have a model UN club. Um, we even have an international student club who are very active 
They're hosting many virtual events now, but I believe it's tonight we're hosting pumpkin carving, which is in person. We've done some mini hikes as well. So a lot of great opportunities to meet other people from all over the world and to get connected. We are division two for athletics. So we have 13 different varsity athletic teams. So if you're highly skilled in the athletics, you could try out and try to join. Um, otherwise you could join one of the intramural clubs or teams and just play against other local schools or just other teams within Central. We'd also love for you to show your wildcat school spirit and attend any of the sporting events, um, especially those that you're interested in, whether it's soccer, uh, rugby, um, basketball, American football, all great opportunities to go cheer on your fellow students. And housing. So this is um, a great area of need for all students is where you're gonna live. Um, so here at the main campus in Ellensburg, it's not required to live on campus. It's only required for first year freshmen. So as transfer students, you can choose to live on or off campus, but we do have 24 different options to choose from, including on campus apartments. So I know a lot of times transfer students are used to their independent lifestyle. You're already living in an apartment, cooking all your own food. You can continue that um, on an on-campus apartment. Um, so it's very easy to navigate the new campus because you're living right there, easy to get to class. Um, they're all equipped with you know, Wi-Fi, kitchens, bathrooms, and typically they're either a studio, um, two or three bedroom apartments. All the housing, um, they have study rooms, game rooms. If you're living in one of the residence halls, which is also an option, there's 19 on campus. We have halls specifically for majors too. So if you want to live with all students within your major, you could have that opportunity, whether it's um, the education living learning community or the business living learning community. So you could live with all students from your classes. You have built-in roommates or hallmates that have taken the same classes or in your same classes. So very easy to form study groups. All right, so we already talked about scholarships and all of the opportunities that you will have to help with funding your education, but here you can see the cost of attendance for one year, estimated cost based on living expenses and your spending habits. So tuition and fees for undergraduate, about 24,500. So with that full scholarship um, based on merit that Stacy was telling you about, that could cut that down to closer to about 12,000 per year, which is pretty comparable to the community college tuition for a year. So for high achieving students, you do have a chance to bring that down by about half. The other expenses listed here are estimates. Housing and meals is based on living on campus. So you may have a less expensive um, housing cost depending on your roommate situation, where you're living. But the total for the I-20 transfer that you would need to demonstrate would be about $43,865 for undergraduate. And with that, uh, how to apply. So the first step, and if all of you are looking at uh, 2021, right now we have the winter quarter, spring quarter and fall quarter applications open. We have rolling admissions. So some universities have strict deadlines that you have to meet. We do not have strict deadlines. We have priority deadlines. If you want to be considered for all of these scholarships, that would be February 1st, but that's for scholarships. So you can still apply. Um, as a transfer student, we recommend no later than about a month before your intended start date, but the sooner the better, because then you don't have to worry about um, all of the documents that you'll have to submit. So the sooner you can apply, the better. But our start dates right now, we have our next start date will be January. And then our spring quarter will be March. And then our fall quarter of next year starts in September. So you would first go on our website and fill out our online application. It's a simple online application form with an application fee of $60.
And then you would request uh, your official transcripts from your current college um, to be transferred to uh, CW admissions. So students need at least a 2.5 GPA to be automatically admitted. So we will review um, students with a GPA that's lower on a case by case basis, but in general 2.5 or higher means that you are admissible. A copy of your passport and a bank statement. So the financial documentation is needed for the transfer of your I-20. If you're currently here on an F-1 student visa, you probably remember the process of originally applying for the visa. You had to submit uh, financial documents to get your I-20. So it's the same thing for transfer students. You need to submit a financial statement showing who will be paying for your education. And you can list scholarship awards once you know them on that form as well and then a bank statement from your financial sponsor. So that can be submitted um, as early as possible, but it's required before we actually transfer the I-20 from your current school to Central. Proof of English language proficiency. So if you've taken two university English composition courses and gotten a grade of a 2.0 or higher, you don't need to submit any additional English proficiency proof. So no TOEFL, or IELTS uh, if you have a 2.0 in two English comp courses. If you do not, or your grade was below a 2.0, then these are the requirements for TOEFL, IELTS, or we also accept Duolingo. Um, if you want to do the online and cheaper option, Duolingo would be recommended. We also do not require SATs or ACTs or any other um, college admissions proficiency exams. All right, with that, we can just open it up to any questions that you have. I haven't been able to watch the chat because I was sharing my screen, so I'll stop sharing. And we'll just open it up if any of you want to unmute yourselves, introduce yourselves, chat questions, or feel free to ask us any questions you have about all the information we just shared because it was a lot. Um, I did have a question um, that was privately sent that I think would be good for everybody to note was what is the minimum GPA to receive the International Student Scholarship, which is a great question. Uh, the minimum GPA to receive any scholarship awards for the International Student Scholarship is 2.70. And then it's a sliding scale. Um, so the higher the GPA, the more award amount, but the minimum GPA to receive any of that international student scholarship is 2.70. Great question. Any other questions? I recognize some of your names. If you want to say hello, you can unmute yourself and introduce yourself. Oh, I can go. Um, hi, hey, Kimberly. Uh, we've talked recently about my, you know, um, was it my bank statement that I had to send to you? Yes. And I actually been uh, accepted at the university. I'm starting this January. I just want to say hello, guys, you know. That's great. Congratulations. We're so excited to meet you soon. And you're going to be at the Ellensburg campus, is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah that's why. Great. Well, then you'll be working with Stacy. You will get to know her very well. Yeah, yes, you will see me often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your major? What What will you be studying? I'm actually planning on um, public health. Oh, great. Yeah, that's actually I'm doing. That's um nowadays that's the perfect field <laughs> to get into. Yeah, and I also got a question. Uh, I've recently uh, checked on the websites. But they said, uh, like, I couldn't find a way to apply for the major. And I was actually thinking, how do I apply for my major if I've been admitted to the, to the university? You said your major was public health? Yeah. Yep. Um, so you've already been admitted to the university, your next step. And so when we get closer to orientation and registration for students, yeah. Um, you'll be connected with an academic advisor so that you can actually complete the application to your major online. If you go to the department website, which I can pull up for you, you can find the contact information uh, because you will apply through 
the public health department. And it depends if you have already met all of the prerequisites or if you still need to take a few more classes before you can apply to the major. Yeah. But we do have an advising team that will help you determine that. So I'll just pull up the page for you. Okay. And it should have the admissions information on the website plus the contact information. So which area of public health are you interested in? Do you know specifically? Oh, it's um, the one with the nursing program. Yeah, I think there are two. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna send you this link right here. And then I would suggest you connect with the department. Um, have you gotten your transfer credit report yet and looked at your transfer credits? Not yet. I don't think so. Okay. Well, we can talk about that as well. If you want to send me an email, I can get you connected and I'll show you where you can find your transfer credit report so that we can get you started. I had that before, actually. Okay. <clears throat> and we had a couple other scholarship questions, one related to esports. While I wish we were one of the universities that offered athletic scholarships for esports, we currently do not. Um, I do know that some universities do as they're becoming more popular, but no, unfortunately, we only offer them for our varsity sports. Um, and then there was another question, what steps should we be doing for applying for scholarships? That's a great question. Um, the International Student Scholarship, actually, there's no application required you're automatically considered at the time you're admitted to Central. Um, so there's no separate application, um, nothing else that we need for you. Um, and then all the other scholarships that I mentioned through the Scholarship Central website, they do require an application. Some may require an essay, um, specifically those talent-based, they might require an audition or a portfolio. So start looking at our website I know that you do have to be admitted to Central in order to um, apply for the ones through Scholarship Central. So if you want to be considered, and you absolutely should, because you should always take advantage of more opportunities to get funding and scholarships, make sure that you're admitted to Central before the February 1st deadline so you can apply for those scholarships through our website. And then any other questions, you can either unmute yourself or type in the chat box if you're a little bit more shy. Any other questions? Oh, sorry, did we have another question in the chat? We did not. I was just going to ask where everybody was located. I know we have some people in Seattle, some in California. You could always just raise your hand or type it in. I just wanted to get a feel for where our transfer students are coming from today. How hard is it to transfer from another state community college? Um, I can answer that. Not any different from transferring from a Washington State community college in general. Um, in Washington State, we have direct transfer agreements with certain community colleges, but we do consider all transfer credits from community colleges in the US and most likely most of the general education requirements would transfer just the same. Um, there's really no difference in the process besides moving from one state to another, but um, the admissions process is the same, all of the pricing, everything, housing is going to be the same. What state are you currently in? Let me guess, California? Yes, California. All right, so yeah, it's really not, um, not a super different process. Timelines are all the same. Um, Piero is in Tacoma, nice. Not very far from me. I'm in um, the South Seattle area as well. No TOEFL or SAT needed no to answer another question. 
The TOEFL would only be required, again, if you have not taken two um, English composition classes in the US and gotten a grade of 2.0 or higher. So if you have, then we don't require any additional English proficiency that would meet. And we'll determine that when we receive your transcripts. Any other questions for us? We are so glad that you're all able to join us today. And we have, uh, we do have, it looks like everybody that's here 